Hey everyone, it's me Curtis. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber or welcome if you are new. Today I have a coin snake video to bring you guys and I feel like this is the fifth time I'm recording this video and every time I record it I had just fed Odysseus like the day prior so I can't handle him to show you guys but I'll try and insert some clips or photos of him now and throughout the video so that you guys can kind of see corn snakes throughout this video. <laughs> like I mentioned today's video is going to be a fact video about corn snakes so I hope you guys enjoy some of these facts and maybe learn something that you did not know prior. <laughs> snakes is that they are actually in corn snakes are actually indigenous to North America so although a lot of times we like exotic animals and animals that are very wild and I don't know not so heard of corn snakes are actually found right here in North America so in like grass uh, land and prairies and areas with tall trees and leaf litter and things like that. But actually these guys are found very plentiful, they breed prolifically in the wild perfectly fine right here in North America. The next fact about corn snakes is that because they are so readily bred in the pet um, industry and so many people own them, there are actually so many color morphs that we have available today in captivity such as the lavender, the blood corn snake, the snow corn snake, okiti, a melanistic or albino and just so many more that you have to choose from. The third fact is that the biggest corn snake on record was 72 inches. So although they're not the widest snake, like let's say maybe a ball python, they do have some... The third fact is that the biggest corn snake found on record was 72 inches. So although that is very... Oh my gosh. Although that is very long, corn snakes usually don't max out around, around that size, so you don't have to worry about that. The fourth fact about corn snakes is that they actually show an example of coevolution, which is rattling their tails. So coevolution is pretty much when two species that uh, usually compete or have similar characteristics in general in the wild will use each other's adaptations and characteristics and attain them through evolution in order to help them better survive, which is the point of characteristics really in the wild anyway. So for corn snakes in captivity, they actually resemble uh, rattling their tails and although they are a non-venomous snake that's bred for captivity and being kept as pets they do rattle their tails usually to scare off predators and things like that because they do know that the rattlesnake uh, shakes their tail and if it works for one species usually another species will kind of resemble that which can also be called mimicry uh, which is when a species like kind of resembles another species in order for protection and to survive. Alright, so the fifth fact about corn snakes, I actually want you guys to comment down below if you think you know what it is before I say it. But because corn snakes are non-venomous species, species, that would make them constrict. So pretty much what I was saying was corn snakes will constrict their prey, meaning that they pretty much suffocate them and wrap their bodies around the body of their prey and then eat them whole, whereas venomous snakes will usually just bite into an animal and kill it and then eat it. Therefore, they don't really need to have uh, the constricting ability because their venom is usually potent enough to knock out their prey so that they can eat it. Another fact about corn snakes is that they actually do not have eyelids. They actually have this membrane over their corneas called spectacles. And if you think it's weird that snakes and if you think it's weird that snakes sleep with their eyes open, they are actually able to close their retinas while they are sleeping to like block out light and things like that. The seventh fact about corn snakes is that they are also known as the red rat snake in some places. Corn snakes will generally lay a clutch of 12 to 29 eggs in a clutch, like I said, uh, making them a very prolific breeder in captivity and in the wild. The ninth fact about corn snakes is their lifespan, and that is that in captivity, Corn snakes have been known to live anywhere from 15 to 20 years, some have lived beyond that, but in the wild for obvious reasons such as predation and uh, just natural elements such as earthquakes and things of that nature, they only generally live 6 to 8 years. And the 10th fact is one that I really wanted to include in here because it's not something that anybody really thinks about, everybody just thinks that snakes are very evil and they want to kill you and bite you. But that is actually that snakes, especially corn snakes, um, have almost a 0% chance of biting you. Corn snakes are not interested in biting you or messing with you unless you smell like a mouse or a rat or a rodent or something that they would naturally eat in the wild, which if you do, you have bigger problems on your hands. However, 
Snakes are not out to get you. When you see them and they're flicking out their tongue, people think that they're like trying to come to them and eat them, or when they see a corn snake like lay across them, they're trying to measure them to see how they're gonna eat you. No corn snake is eating a human, okay? I'm just gonna put that out there. Alright guys, I feel like I talked a lot in this video and I had a lot to say. I hope you guys found some of these facts informational or cool. But uh, if you did, let me know down in the below in the comments. And don't forget that you guys can subscribe to my channel to make sure that you do not miss any more future content just like today's. And you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which are just at Curtis the same. If you do not know, I run my own pet supplies business through Etsy, where I sell pet supplies for reptiles, rodents, and more. The link to that is always in the description of all of my videos if you want to ever check that out. With all that being said, I hope you guys loved today's video, and I will see you all in the next one.